Hello guys, how are you? I hope everybody is fine and welcome in this new video uh, in which we are going to extract a uh, binary file from uh, an executable uh, BIOS update file. It's an Alienware R117 as we can read here in this case in this server hello guys i have alienware r17 p18e with dual storage bios i read both of them and i think it contains too much of apps i watched video where you can extract the txt file but i can't i have errors so someone can extract the file because i want to compare one to another so the guy here claims or says that his board has a dual ship storage which uh, I can't confirm I don't know exactly if he's right about this statement or no uh, but we have here the dot exe file with, from which uh, he needs the binary file so let's just download this and sh and uh, see together how can we do that using a uh, temporary file i think if it's uh, an old structure file uh, let's download it first and let's save it in uh, it is temporary let's create a folder so the gay name is zimonka yes open save okay let's open the let's go to the folder so in folder so here we have the file okay so as you can see here it's uh, an old structure file so this file needs uh, we can extract it using temporary file uh, if we extract with the winrar let's see what we get so with the winrar we won't get the binary file but as you can see here inside flash here we uh, at least have uh, an idea about the structure of the file okay let's delete this folder so what we are going to do is simply execute this file double click we accept yes so we got this error so when you got this error don't close this window or click on ok don't 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 do anything you uh, go to your keyboard and windows air to get to uh, the run command and here you tape temporary as you can see here i use it a lot so here i have temporary and hit ok so you go to the first folder in fact you have to order by date so that you can have the files and the folders ordered by date so you go to the first folder here as you can see here you open so here if you see here we have the same the same let's show you let's extract here we draw so you can see here we have the same the same files like in here with winrar but here in addition to these files we have this binary file so this is temporary so we just copy this uh, 
and we came here to the main folder and we placed it here. Why? Because if we now if we let's reduce this one. So here we have the temporary file. It's this one. If we click on OK here, this folder will disappear. This folder, this one will disappear. Look. So we have to copy that file before, uh, before answering to the error message. So let's go back to our folder and let's close this temporary folder. So here we have the .ft file. It's a binary file but with the 9 megabyte bits which seems not to standard uh, BIOS size. Let's delete this folder. We don't need it. And let's open this one to see how it looks. So if we scroll down, we we notice that it has some codes that are similar to BIOS file. So as the size here is 9 megabytes so probably the file or the views file which we need should be 8 megabytes so oh, in this file we are going to make a search for this keyword views IMG which means simply BIOS image but you have to rate it like this BIOS AMG or flash we can also use flash okay so here we have the first result but we have to put into to something that looks like the header of a BIOS so we click on F3 on our keyboard to go to the next search the next search also here we don't have something like a BIOS header so next search F3 again so not yet we still don't notice anything that looks like a BIOS header so F3 to go to the next result next result and next again next again next again next again 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 and here we have something like a header and here we have the and the uh, keyword which I mentioned in the beginning. So we use either BIOS IMG or E flash or simply flash. E flash or simply flash. So when we got something like a header here, so the beginning of our BIOS file should be here from this first line here which contains the Fs. So we click here and with the right click we select the block of 8 mega because the, it, the size of this file from which we are going to, to extract the BIOS image is 9 mega which uh, simply means that the BIOS image should be something like 8 mega and the hex uh, length of 8 mega is, is 8 uh, 800,000 and click on ok so as you can see here let's make it clear let's zoom for you so uh, 
as you can see here, we have eight hundred thousand as the X size. Let's hit OK. Yes, that's right because if we go to the end of the file, it looks like a footer of the file of the views file, and here we have again the e flash keyword, and here we have the any img, which means whenever we see this, which means that this is the end of our views file so let's just copy this and open a new file and with control v paste everything and let's save as uh, yes in the same folder let's save as uh, views image views img dot b save let's go to our folder so here we have exactly the desired size and if we open the, our file so here we have we have the header and we have the foot so the file should be correct let's see the structure or the partitions of the file so that's fine we have here the partitions descriptor views region meridian details and if we open with the with the me analyzer for example so here we have also the this message here only tells that I have to download the update the last update of this me analyzer so here we have the me information of our file which simply means that the file is ready to use as it is or we can do clean me before using it but as it's from an official update uh, executable file it can be used as it is so here's the way which we can use to extract the views image from an executable file first we extract the .fd file then from which we uh, use search function uh, to locate the header and the footer if we have the uh, original dump we can use the footer uh, or the header of our original dump we we'll copy uh, two or three lines from our header and we use it as a keyword search uh, in uh, in using hex value like for example le let's do it let's do it practically to show you how let's for example uh, let's imagine that this file which we have extracted right now is our <coughs> original dump so let's open our original dump and go open our fd file so we go to our original dump we copy for example like this copy we go to fd we go to find the hex value and we paste what we have copied from the original one it's not original but we have said that imagine it's the original dump okay so here we have the beginning of our 
file here and we click here and we use the select block if you don't know how what the size to use uh, when selecting the block you open any 8 mega file with the hex hd and we you do control a to select all and you check the size here here we have 800,000 as a hex length so that's what you use here when selecting the block you uh, use the length which is 800,000 and you click ok and here you have the file again the file again you copy you go to new you with control v you paste here and you save as uh, to compare we are going to compare it to what we have extracted in the beginning that's why I choose that name let's close so here we have to compare which we have uh, uh, extracted right now and we have the one which we have extracted in the beginning let's open both files yes and let's analyze compare okay the files are identical so we came to the end of uh, this video bye bye and see you in the next one i hope it will be soon in this in the following week bye bye everybody